Hi guys, this is Prakash here from Technosource. We are a specialist provider of barcoding solutions. Uh, we are partner with the US-based company Was Barcode Technologies. Uh, we provide their solutions in Australia and New Zealand. Uh, WASP has been providing on-premise solution for asset tracking and inventory control using mobile devices. And recently they have introduced WASP Asset Cloud uh, system. So it's mainly used in healthcare industries, construction, engineering, educational, uh, mining in tool rooms. You can also use it for IT asset tracking. Uh, facility management companies are using this, large institute and government departments. So I'll just show you how this, uh, uh, the desktop version, the browser-based application, and also the mobile app works. Um, mobile app is uh, used on or installed on iOS and Android devices. When you click here, you can see that you can put your company details. You can do few setting change from this screen. You can customize any forms and the field names. You can also set up alerts and notifications within the system. You can also view set up views for each and every individual user or group of users. If you have data uh, on the Excel spreadsheet, you can import the data from there. So this is a screen from where you can get or set automatic alerts and notification before an event occurs or anytime an event happens. So here on the left hand side, you see all the menus. Um, this is the asset screen. You can view assets. You can create a new asset. Um, this also has a another feature called multi quantity asset. That means you can have one barcode for uh, the same item and put that as a quantity. Example will be a chair, which is similar nature and you got quantity of 30 or 50 um, with just one barcode. All the other assets, you can just simply use it as a single asset, single barcode tag. Um, you can also do, uh, you can create multiple type of assets here. You can calculate the depreciation also of any asset with the different depreciation methods. You can use this checkout uh, and check-in feature. Once you check out, you can set a reminder as to when this is item uh, or asset supposed to get back. Um, and you can check in back once it is back. So the main use of this application is checking out to uh, your customers or job site or your employees. And once these items are back, you can do check-in. You can also do move from one site to another site uh, or another location. You can dispose of the asset um, for, for any other reason. You can recover it as well. Um, you can also check the history of asset at any point of time, uh, what has been done to that asset and when all that is recorded in the history. So you also have this maintenance options available to you that each and every asset you can set up maintenance schedule and you can set up the task against the asset or that maintenance uh, so that it does remind you um, few days before uh, as to when this asset is due to be maintained and you can use a mobile device in the field to actually perform the maintenance uh, and perform these tasks and then complete the maintenance on the mobile device. I'll show you later on the mobile device as well, mobile device operation as well. From this lookup screen, you can check your site's location. Site is a physical building where all the assets are kept. Location is a physical location within that site. Uh, you can have different departments, employees, customers, vendors, um, contracts. You can set up also the contract with each asset. Uh, these are very useful in um, renewals of any agreements or lease agreements or contracts associated with that asset. Next, we have audit. So you can create um, audit windows on this and you can do a uh, audit of the asset on the site 
uh, also using mobile device that um, once you decide decide that you want to do you want to perform an uh, audit of an asset uh, or multiple assets uh, for that particular site so you define that I'll be in this site and this location and system does inform you how many assets are supposed to be there and you keep scanning the barcodes and at the end you can generate a report which will tell you missing items from this particular site or location we also have uh, inbuilt multiple reports available uh, whichever reports you want you can generate that report and you can also set up the schedule for that particular report as to by this particular time and date uh, this report should go to so many people via email you can also customize each report to the format you require and you can set up that report as a different uh, file and you can run this report uh, as and when you want all of these reports can be uh, exported into excel format or pdf format for example i've run this report asset by location and i can save it either in the pdf or in excel spreadsheet and then you can play around with the report in the excel spreadsheet okay so we have users and roles defined in the system you can create a particular role uh, for example we have created this administrator role a us group or uk group or techno test so if i just go into this particular group i can see that uh, who are the part of these um, this particular role and for this role which all site are to be accessed you can also define that when this role logs in which particular site they are supposed to log in and you can control that either via roles or the users so if i go into permission section you can see there's different features or functionality of the of the system and you can define whether this particular role can get the access and they can do either create modify or delete etc so once these user roles are created and you have given the permission to those roles you can then set up the user and you can make the user as part of that role and when they log in their security will be used from that all right guys so if you want to see the details of any asset you can click on um, this particular uh, asset tag or you can scan or you can search with the description as well in my case i'm just going to scan a barcode here which is this dell 1600 watt color printer i can just click here which takes me to the details of that particular asset and we can also attach any picture with that asset uh, description you have a model number category names its condition can be set um, you can define what site and location this asset belongs to uh, you can also set out some checkout details by default in the purchase section you can define what was the purchase order or when was this purchased or whatever was the cost of that from the depreciation tab you can set up a depreciation for that particular asset or asset types as I mentioned earlier, you can set up the contracts and link up with that particular asset. Uh, one good example would be uh, a vehicle lease agreement um, or a maintenance contract with any of the asset. Funding, funding option is mainly used for educational institutes or any other government organization where they get some funding to purchase those particular assets. So you can also track how much funding has been applied for that asset and how much funding is left on this attachment tab you can attach any sort of file whether it is a pdf uh, word excel document or even compliance sheets user manuals all these things can be attached with that asset so that you can you can quickly find it if at all required from the maintenance screen you can create uh, different kind of maintenance and different schedules and you can set up some alerts and notification as to when this maintenance is, is due to be maintained from the history tab you can uh, check what has been done to that asset 
starting from when the asset was initially added, then it was checked out. And if the last thing, what was done on that asset will be at the top, uh, what the function was done or who was the user in this case. Okay, guys, we have another exciting feature available in the system to print the barcode label within this application. For example, we've configured some of the barcode labels already in the system with different size and uh, measurements. So, for example, I want to print these three barcodes. I've selected these ones and I'm just going to click on this barcode icon here and it gives me a uh, barcode as what we've defined initially. And you can customize and design this whether you have 1D barcode or QR code or 2D barcode as well. So this is done generally from the report section and within the report section you have a separate uh, labels options there and if I just click on the asset barcode label I can then design this report and from this report I can modify uh, the size and measurement of these, uh, these uh, labels or I can change the way that particular um, barcode is either 1D or QR code. I hope uh, this is uh, very much in use for uh, your requirement. So what you're seeing here is a mobile device, uh, Android mobile device app, which we have installed in one of the WASP device here. You can edit the asset, you can create new asset while you are in the field. Uh, in transactions menu, you can do all day-to-day -day operation. You can check out, check in, you can do all this move, etc. transactions on the mobile device and it does instant update. From the audit screen, you can click on the audit and you can define as to what site and location you are in and then it'll find the assets in that site and location and all you're doing is keep scanning the barcode and it'll find that asset for that particular site. Example, I'm just looking at Chicago office and office number 122 and I'm going to set the date and time for this and here I'm just going to find the assets there's only one asset showing up here and either I can scan the barcode or I can just click here and I've done the audit, completed it and I'll just go back into the main menu and uh, audit would have been completed. For maintenance screen, we click on the maintenance and we are now here going to perform the maintenance. We can select any of these asset either from the list or we can scan the barcode. For example, I need to do this uh, asset 138, I'll double click on that and it is telling me that uh, the condition of this is good and I can select and I can change the condition also if it is very bad and these are my tasks and if uh, there is any cost, if there was any instruction, it will define here and if I have completed this task uh, maintenance, I'll just complete and I'll just go on save. So that way, that particular task has been completed. I'll go back into the main menu. Um, from the settings, we can define uh, and we can filter the data or we can upload the data. Normally, if auto upload is on, then from the mobile device, it will automatically sync the data. But so it, this uh, asset cloud mobile app does work even if your device is offline. That means if there's no Wi-Fi or 4G connectivity, uh, it still has the data. It will still do all the functions what you what is mentioned here. And when you come back into the connectivity, you can then synchronize the data. Uh, so it means it works in batch mode as well as online mode. OK, guys, so uh, I hope uh, the demo was useful to you for any further details or to book a one to one online demo. Please visit the link below or call us on 1300 300 344 or you can also send an email on sales at technosource.com.au. Thanks for your time.